I got into being a social worker in the nonprofit uh, field about 20 years ago. I've just always had a passion for connecting people and finding ways to help move people forward out of situations they're in. And so that's how I got started as a social worker. The thing that gets me the most passionate every day about my career and about my job is the ability to get up and know that I'm making a difference and know that there's families out there who are getting the supplies they need. They're getting baby items that help move them forward and out of poverty uh, and toward a road that's towards more stability. Atlanta has been incredible. I've been here for over 20 years now and I love the city of Atlanta and all it's done for me um, and our organization. I find Atlanta to be a very friendly place for startups, for entrepreneurs, for people wanting to try something new, for people wanting to dream and Atlanta has allowed me to dream. I think the things about Atlanta that have positively impacted you know, my ability to start helping mamas and my ability to work here is that they're so welcoming and opening to new ideas and creative solutions to solve problems. I have found Atlanta to be a place that loves to solve problems and is open to creative and new ways to do that. You know, there's several challenges that I've faced as a woman in my field in the nonprofit world where you see a majority of the Entry and mid-level professionals are all women, however, most of the CEOs are men. And it's a very interesting and unusual dynamic. And I can remember being in graduate school and having a professor look at the only man in the room and say, you will be a CEO one day. And I thought, why him? Why, why not me? What's wrong with me? I think the most challenging thing is, is we can't help everybody. And you feel like every single day, um, there's new, new things arises, new needs arises, and new ways you want to serve. And sometimes you have to stay the course. You have to focus on what your plan is and what your model is and not chase every option and opportunity that's out there because you know if you follow the plan, eventually maybe we will be able to help everybody. That's the great thing about any kind of food bank, baby supply bank. You see firsthand the product going out, but really what is so encouraging is that I get to see the best in people. Anytime we've had a need, anytime we've had We've been low on something, we put a call out, and our community, it just shows up, and they show up for these families in such huge ways, and there's, there's nothing better than that, than watching you be able to connect people that are passionate about giving back to the people that do need some help. I think the time with Helping Mamas that I felt just so personally proud or successful was when we opened our first warehouse doors. I remember getting those keys. It was a small building, about 2,500 square feet, and I thought, we've come from my garage to this. And I felt like, for me, that was a moment that I knew we were going to make it. I think we need more women in leadership roles because that the issues that we face today, we've gotten so used and so accustomed them to making them women's issues or men's issues, and they're really just human issues, and representation matters. So if we're talking about things that impact half of our population, then we need to see that reflected in leadership as well. I think the biggest piece of advice I could give a young woman today trying to make it into their field is to work hard. Um, there's a basketball coach that I grew up loving, Pat Summit. I'm a girl from Knoxville, Tennessee, and grew up loving her. And her thing was that we're going to outwork everybody. And you may be more talented. You may have more doors that are open, but you're not going to outwork me. And that's what it takes to get yourself forward is hard work every single day.